Now, if you told me 15 years ago that Jason Plato would be driving in a Honda, I probably wouldn't have said anything because I was two years old. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Elliot Webber, and today, once again, we are going to be discussing some speculation and some rumours going about uh, behind the scenes of the BTCC paddock. Uh, slash what's been going on on social media and certain rumors suggest that Jason Plato could potentially be going to BTC Racing in a Honda Yeah, I know Yes, guys, that is right. Jason Plato, the two-time BTCC champion, has been rumoured to be going to BTC Racing in what will now be their four-car super team pretty much um, of course, it's currently unknown who is going to BTC Racing, but we do know Tom Ingram is back at Accelerate. Dan Robottom will be back at Team Dynamics. Ollie Jackson, Sam Osborne, and Dan Kamish will be returning to motor-based performance in what will be their four-car team. Um, I can't remember who else is confirmed, but we do know that Laser Tools Racing slash Aiden Moffitt Racing will only have now two cars. Obviously, Aiden Moffitt will probably be one of them. Sicily Motorsport, we know, of course, Adam Morgan's family team, which means Adam Morgan will probably be back there at Sicily. And uh, I, pr I believe that is it so far. Oh, yeah. And Jack Goff and Aaron Taylor-Smith are currently confirmed as two of their four cars for Team Hard. It, with, of course, the returning Coopers. Of course, whoever comes back. Of course, hopefully Jake Mitchell and Nicholas Hampson come back to Team Hard. But, yeah. For now, Jason Plato, of course, isn't confirmed at Power Max Racing. But he's been rumoured to go to BTC. Which, of course, is very strange when you, re when you remember the manufacturer that they use. Of course... It's Honda. Um, now, some of you may know, Jason Plato, uh, of course, uh, uh, a fierce rival of Matt Neal, who, of course, for multiple, for many, many years, has been a factory Honda driver and, of course, is current, is now officially running Team Dynamics, of course, a team formerly owned by his father, Steve. Um, but, yeah, Plato in a Honda. It, it feels weird to say, doesn't it? Um, but, yeah, so... Why would Plato go to Honda? Or why would Plato go to BTC and why would he why would he drive a Honda, a car that we know has been a fierce rival of his? Um well first of all, Jason Plato has actually said that the FKA is a very good car to drive. Go back to one of go back to uh, one of the series on fifth gear where he actually test drove uh, the new Honda FKA Civic when it first came out in 2018. Plato said in that test drive that he can see why it wins races. And of course, we know Dan Kamish, Josh Cook, Senna Proctor, Gordon Shedd and Dan Robottom, five of the best drivers in the touring cars at the minute, have all been very successful in the Honda FK8 Civic. Um, and yeah, and I think Plato now is at that, I think Jason now is at the point of his career where I think he can just do whatever he wants now. Of course, he knows how good he is. He knows the, the caliper of driver that he is in the sport. And of course, whenever he goes, if he even comes back in 2022, he will be remembered as royalty of touring car racing. Um, but yeah, do, do I see Plato going to BTC? Honestly, yeah. Yes, I do. I think... Uh, if Josh Cook comes back, which has been highly rumoured, I do think Josh Cook will return to BTC. And I also think Senna Proctor will come back. Also think Jade Edwards will return to the team. So I feel like Plato will be that addition. Because remember, BTC now have four licences and will have a fourth car. So I think having Proctor, Cook, Edwards and Plato will be a fantastic team. Of course, we know Josh Cook is a championship level driver. Senna Proctor was fantastic in 2021 and is now starting to, to properly prove himself as, a, as one of the top dogs in touring cars. Jade Edwards had a brilliant, had a, had a well, I wouldn't say brilliant, but a very good, uh, very impressive um, 2021. Of course, it was her first full season in the BTCC where she actually scored her first points. So, Jade, of course, congratulations to that. And I really hope Jade comes back because there is some potential there for her. And having Josh Cook, Senna Proctor and Jason Plato as teammates would be absolutely fantastic. So, do I think Plato will go to BTC? Honestly, yes, I do. Um, but, of course, as you know, in my previous predictions video, which has now just surpassed 1,000 views, so thank you guys for that. Um, Plato, I didn't put Plato anywhere in 2022. I... My 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 gut feeling says that he will retire and he will just bow out. But knowing Plato, he probably won't. We know Jason is very passionate about motorsport. 
even though he might not show it sometimes, but Jason, we know 100% he's passionate, and, he, and we also know that he does want to become champion again with these new hybrid rules coming in, which should hopefully condense the field a lot more so we won't see Sutton or Turkington running away with it like we have seen the past few years. Maybe Jason could return to where he was 10 years ago and fighting for, for championships every single year. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you think Jason Plato will come back in 2022? And do you think he will go to BTC? And just imagine how scary that would be. Jason Plato, one of the, uh, the most successful touring car driver in BTCC history in one of the most successful cars in BTCC history. Jason Plato and Honda. A combination we probably never saw coming 10, 15 years ago. But it's almost seeming like a reality in 2022. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.